Introducing Apple Vision Pro. Hello everyone, welcome back on this Instagram channel, guys. I'm Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber, and blogger. In today's tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to explore about Apple Vision Pro. So in this tutorial, I am going to explain you that what are the SDK and what are the coming in the future that we can create our application for Apple Vision Pro. And there are few things that exciting coming in the future, and I am very excited. Hope you are also. So first of all, I I just saw so many uh, talk show on the Apple Vision Pro in Pro with Unity because Unity is working with Apple from last two years and they have also created SDKs and they have also create compatibility with Apple Vision Pro. So let's start the today video. First of all, I will share few slides for few slides so that you will get a uh, idea that what we are going to cover and what's coming in the future. Okay. So and after that, we will just sign up for beta version so that Unity will provide us uh, invite us for uh, testing beta version. Okay. So let's start the 2D video. If you are new on the channel, so make sure to subscribe the channel. If you want to ask anything, so just drop in the comment box. So let's start the 2D video. So let's start with the slide. So if you have watched the Apple Vision Pro launching videos, so you might have knowledge about that. They are working in the full immersive as well as immersive. What it means immersive? Immersive means you will be able to see your environment as well as their virtual environment okay partially like not all the environment will be covered with the their environment but you will be see in your environment a smart a small portion of their application in front of you when you are using this vr device and in full immersion in full immersion will be your whole environment will be just covered with their environment okay so you will get fully immersed like they told they shared in their uh, videos that uh, if you want to see a movie so you can create your virtual theater and you can see with your environment but if you want to immerse fully so you can just watch that movie but you can create your environment like custom environment like you want to see uh, that you are on the you are on the space and you're watching the movie or you are in the sea so you are watching the movie so there is two things full immersive and immersive so at the point of developer you should aware of it that what is the full immersive what is the immersive and i have just watched the create immersive unity apps wwdc 23 talks so there are so many things i will just drop a link so you can go through uh, but i am just sharing from them a screenshot okay and uh, for graphics means what we need we need universal render pipeline there is two pipeline we can work for that is the standard and uh, unity render pipeline urp but most preferably i will tell you that you should go with the urp because in the future standard pipeline may be get deprecated and the vr devices most great functionality is static over oviated means you can see my last tutorial i talk about the oculus meta 3 but the terms is but the terms static foveated rendering is common why because urp use static foveated rendering because they just uh, if you are seeing anything so just front part is is looking in more more uh, with the more detailing and the side parts is not looking that much detailing okay and is a human our eyes just focus on the center thing so just it works like this and you can see this is the static foveated rendering that you can see in the side there is not that much detailing but in the center there is a lot detailing okay so simply you can understand this way and this is a very important term in virtual reality world okay so same thing applied throughout the pipeline static foveated and works with urp feature so and it will not work in all urp means you have to go with unity version 2022 means 2022 version above lts okay so there is a lot of great functionality in 2022 unity version and as well as apple vision pro and as well as meta quest 3 will just support mr thing in 
that version and here you, you can see that prepare our graphics so we are using the universal pipeline it is static oviated single pass instance rendering so basically single pass instance means whatever one can one eye seeing same will be rendered in second eye okay left eye and right eye so you have seen whenever you work with the xr so there is an option that single pass instance or multi view so we have to go with single pass and it helps us to create our scene better because in the single there is a one eye is whatever saying it is just reflect in another eye but if you are using multi view so both eyes seeing different thing so it's a uh, very costly for virtual reality this we have covered single pass stands this is the depth compositing if you are working with the apple vision pro so every time whatever you are doing you have to provide the depth depth means uh, the z axis the look and feel should be in the depth like whatever shader you are writing whatever things you are making because they want to give user a very best experience the best part for a unity developer for vr developer is that it is compatible with xtar interaction toolkit okay you know if you don't know so you can just go on my youtube channel and here there you will get xtar interaction toolkit that how i have integrated and how i am providing the locomotion how i am providing providing the uh, rotation how i am providing the teleport system so you can go and the xtar interaction toolkit is a really great tool and in the future we are going to uh, this and you have to also learn that how unity new input system is working so it is a very compatible with new input system i will provide a tutorial on how new input system works but you have to understand what is the interaction toolkit basically it is component component based interaction toolkit that you have to directly put uh, component on your game object and you will be able to perform your interaction just go on my videos and just check out that how i have implemented so here you think xr interaction toolkit i am just explaining a little bit that if you are want to work with xr interaction toolkit so there is a three things interactable interactor and interaction manager so basically interactable means uh, which object we are going to interact like let's suppose here is a one cube and i want to interact with uh, this so that will be interactable and basically if you are using the xr so on that game object you have to add a component comp component that is interactable or xr interactable and uh, if i am uh, uh, communicating with the direct with my hand so that is the interactor and there are multiple type of interactor like you can see in the vr there is a ray there is a direct interactor and there is a just touch uh, there is a just uh, pinch so there are so many type of interactor so basically uh, interaction manager manage both so is a develop if you are a vr developer so you can just connect what i am saying if you are not so just i will provide this tutorials that how interactable and interactor work but you can just uh, simply uh, simply understand that if we are uh, if we are taking anything in our hand let's suppose there is a uh, glass of water so we are taking anything uh, with our hand so the glass is interactable and our hand we are just uh, putting it directly so that is the interactor okay and let's suppose we have the magic like you can see uh, in the chris movie that uh, if he want to take any bottle so just he press the button and that bottle comes directly so in the vr we use the ray to get this kind of so here is, you can see interactable there are simple interactable there is a grab there is a teleport so basically teleport area i have provided the tutorial you can just check out that is for oculus quest 3 and grab i have explained simple i have explained okay for the apple vision pro there is a new there is a new way to interact so with your application that is the gesture means whatever you are creating your gesture whatever you are pinning so that's taking the apple vision pro so basically unity provide a hands input uh, where they detect your hand and on the basis of your hand uh, movement they just provide the data to the application you can see access raw hand join data and you can perform animation or your and here you can see there are so many define this interaction like direct ray socket poke gaze so these are the multiple like i have explained direct ray and socket is like you are pressing any button like uh, that is the socket 
yeah, this is the poke and that that is the gaze so there are main multiple i have not used the gaze thing but i have used a bob thing like socket ray direct and here you can see use system gesture with unity system so the great thing is that unity xr toolkit provides so many stuff you can just work on it like uh, there is a pinch value pinch position pinch rotation uh, so you have to basically bind and then after that you will be able to see and this is the way that new input system works so here you can see this is the new input system so you have to learn you can watch on the youtube as well as i will provide the tutorial but don't worry about this thing now because in the future you will get much more tutorials on it okay so thing, same thing uh, we discussed about that uh, we have used pinch so how xr will help us and uh, we have to use the joints data by using the unity hands detection so here is the unity hands package basically these are the joints your hand joints means how many joints uh, in your left hand right hand and that data will be we will pass will pass to our object because in the real world it will just detect uh, through the camera and that data we have to pass it is a little complicated because everyone hands is different so uh, we have to just uh, manage that thing basically your hands will be detected in front of your vr devices and on the basis of that these are the joints and these will be some values so these values we provide to our uh, hands models in game and here is the thing that uh, everything's work on material x so basically if you write any shader any material unity shader graph in urp so that thing will be converted in material x and you have to not worry about this thing because when you will import your unity project and go in your apple xr x code so that will be converted there so that will be instead a graph material and here is the important thing explore volume cameras so as i in the starting i explain to you there is two things we have to be aware that is the immersive and full immersive immersive means small part full immersive means whole part so same things uh, bounded camera unbounded camera so this will be in the bounded and this will be unbounded so concept is same here you can see this is the bounded volumes means in bounded there is shared space like you can generate multiple space but you are in the uh, your environment and here you can see uh, everything will be real world size okay unity dimension transform everything is work and unbounded means you will be in full immersive and full spaces no dimensions display in full space and here you can see that uh, whatever we are seeing in unity that's looking through the camera so this is the bounded volume and bounded volume means in this part uh, area will be shown in your application so this is also unbounded and there are some different characteristics and here is the wrap up like upgrade to unity version 2022 or later and in apple vision pro as well as meta quest 3 so there is a so much stuff in unity 2022 so you can just download it and we are going to work on the urp in both vr devices we are getting that is getting launched in the future apple vision pro as well as meta quest 3 so you have to aware with the urp if you don't know just go on my channel there is lots of tutorial on urp and prepare your input for hands so you must knowledge have xr interaction toolkit xr and uh, after that uh, uh, xr foundation and then the uh, hands input controller package so that you can get data okay and he, as i told you that it will be your environment will be in your your application will be in your environment so that's happening due to the augmented reality so xr foundation xr core xr kit knowledge should you should you must have uh, because uh, that is the augmented reality so here is the plane detection world mass image markers and this is the input availability there is input availability and what supports in bounded what supports in unbounded and in which we need permissions so, so there is okay and this is the like uh, if you are interacting with your application so at that time there will be a collider uh, you can touch on the plane you can touch on the object and there will be uh, added 
collider you will add collider and then you can tap don't worry about these things now and this thing unity supports like unity ui system support unity ui toolkit supports unity mesh and mesh render base mesh mesh supports render support and if there is anything runtime so we have to just implement through the render texture and one more thing i want to mention that post processing thing doesn't support in apple vision pro and this thing i already covered shader graph adapt universal move input system and one more important thing that you know you must knowledge have about new input system so just go on website learn or i will just share tutorial and here is the last thing that is the build target so just ios xr plugin remove native plugins build an xr xcode project means it is the similar that how we create application for ios okay so that's it for today tutorial because tutorial is getting longer so i don't want a longer tutorial and if you enjoy the tutorial so please like subscribe the channel and if you want to support me so just join or give me thanks so that i can just make awesome tutorial for you if you want to say anything about the future about this device your anything you want to suggest me anything you want to ask so just drop in the comment box so thanks for watching have a good day see you in next tutorial bye bye take care